what's going on guys welcome back to another let's grab lunch today is pretty simple lunch i got two cheese quesadillas and then some red sauce to kind of dip it in i think you're supposed to usually dip it in salsa but i didn't have any so i just used spaghetti red sauce marinara sauce i feel like it's almost the same thing oh okay it's not the same thing but it's good enough for this and also Three scoops of protein shake right here. Got to get the protein in for the day. But yeah, that's what we're having for lunch. I anticipate it will be quick. Uh, super easy lunch to make. Took like maybe five minutes at most. So yeah, let's dig on in. Cheese and tortillas. Like simple and good I think it's good so today kind of wanted to talk about Comcast a little bit and you know how they when you sign up for like say a new service um, or internet package you get like this promotional deal and I want to say it's like Depending on the speed you get, you could be paying anywhere from 40 to like 80 per month. And that's like a promotional rate for two years or so. And then after the two years, they bump that thing like all the way up. And you call in to customer service to try to, you know, get it back to the promotional rate, which I heard sometimes works. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, based off of what I was seeing online. But like, in this case, when I tried to do it, it didn't work. They offered some alternatives, um, but it was still like a good quarter more, like 25% more than what I was paying for. I think it was 25%. Am I doing the math right? almost 50% more than what I was paying during the promotional period. And we, like, after chatting with, like, five to seven different people, it was such a hassle, too. They kept transferring me to the next person because there were, people were saying, oh, I like, there's an error on my back end. I'm going to have to transfer you to someone else, which at that point, I just feel like they didn't want to deal with it. So they transfer it to the next person. But after transferring to like seven people, I finally realized that A, I'm going to have to decrease the speed or package that I had or um, to get like around the same price that I was paying or B, just get someone else in the house to, you know, start up a new internet package or bundle to get a promotional rate. Which is a hassle, but you get it done within a day, you know, to save on almost 50% of my bill per month. Why not for the next two years? And then I feel like after two years, just rinse and repeat, see what the new promotional package is. But it's so dumb, in my opinion, like if you're a loyal customer, and this is outside of Xfinity and Comcast, like to anyone, like say your phone bill or whatever, your phone provider. It's like if I'm a loyal customer and I haven't been paid or late on payments, like why just not keep that same rate so that I stay and I don't threaten to switch? I feel like nowadays that's the only way you get them to keep the same rate or something you have to threaten to switch but you kind of shit out of luck if you're in an area where comcast or xfinity or whatever provider you're looking for is a monopoly because then they call your bluff they're like all right go ahead switch to someone else because they're they're probably gonna have to up the price a lot 
or we're the only service provider here. So if you quit, we know you're going to be back. So go ahead. So yeah, that was annoying. And then, I got the new equipment, set it up. Oh, give me one second, okay. And then, like it never works correctly the right way. You always have to reach back out to support to like activate the modem and stuff, at least in my experience. And when I did that earlier, I had to go through like an additional three people because they kept transferring me to the wrong department. I got transferred to sales to try to activate my modem. I'm like, what are we doing? And that was like another hour of them sending signals to the service address to get the modem working. It finally did, which I'm thankful for. I appreciate all the help, but why is it so hard to activate a modem? I feel like it should be plug in, plug in play. You know, plug it in, get it booted, type in username pa or Wi-Fi name password, be done with it, you know? Sometimes, I know it's probably not true, but I'm thinking like, shit. They give you all that trouble and then they ultimately say, say oh, we have to send someone out there. But you know, when you, they send someone out there, they charge you. Hmm. So it's like, are they doing this to just try to get a little extra something? I don't know. Hmm. That was good. I don't know how much time it's been, but I feel like I finished that in like five minutes or something. But like I said, super easy meal. One of the high fiber low carbs uh, tortillas with some part skim mozzarella shredded cheese about half a cup per tortilla and just throw it on the skillet for a little bit and it's good to go uh, protein down the hatch. Well, I know it was a pretty short one today, but you know, this is all I had laying around, so I just whipped up something quick. Uh, thanks for joining me for lunch. Hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.